Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is where I'm going to discuss your video transmission and receiving system on your FPV quads. Um, let's take a look at the footage that I've shot with uh, different ante antennas and different quads and then I will discuss it after that. Now you can see we have three screens here. And this is me flying round the tree, this particular tree. And you can see with the Taycan, it was, there was less breakup. And the thing to take note of is the Taycan is only on 25 milliwatts. Then we switch on for, to flying behind me. There's slight breakup on the Fox here. Still on the Fox here, still on the Tina Whoop, but go to the take on at 25 milliwatts and the picture was almost perfect. Next one is we are going to fly around that big tree. Now I didn't do this with the Tina Whoop on the VAS, but you can see the difference here with the Taycan. You see the slight break up. Okay, it's slightly different the way I turned there, but the break up was very similar. And the last piece is going through the tree, underneath that tree, which I only did with the Tina Whip. And let's see which breaks up worse. I'm going to break up there on the Pro. Well, I think you would say they're quite similar. I did a slightly different route, but very similar. I wanted to start doing tests on VTXs, but I feel it's going to be very difficult to be able to run tests on that type, on this type of equipment that we use with our FPV, because there are so many different variables which are involved in the way the picture comes out. Like you can see from the footage of the t of the Tina Whoop that was running at 40 milliamps, and then you switch over to the Taycan, which was only running at 25 milliamps, and in the end, I think it had a, a better quality picture and less breakup. So I wanted to discuss that with you and put it out there so that you can take a look at this video and give me your opinions. Um, so how would you go about testing a VTX? Maybe take it to a couple of kilometers or whatever and then see what the image coming back is or see with the breakup. So I think it'd be very, very difficult to test that type of equipment. So what I would suggest is that you, when you go and fly with your buddies, you ask them what they're using and maybe ask if you can check their goggles out and see what the image quality is like and see if you're happy with it. I think that's a better way of being able to assess which equipment you want to use. And, you know, with the uh, Tina Whip, it's got this tiny little antenna, but the Taycan has a TBS Triumph stubby antenna on it. So it's got a far better quality antenna. So there are so many variables to be able to um, assess your, v your video transmitter and your video receiving system. So I'm going to leave it that, at that and probably won't do reviews on this type of equipment. But it has been very interesting me doing this and seeing how there isn't much change depending on how much you spend. I suppose a, a far better video receiver will work better than a, a cheaper one, but how do you assess that? How in the end do you look at that and say, OK, there's there's the results and it is better or it's worse. So I think it's very subjective. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear, you, hear from you about this subject. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.